Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DespairRepair.com In this video we'll be talking about the most common symptoms of a bad wheel bearing, what is a wheel bearing anyway and what causes the problem. So stay tuned. DespairRepair.com be sure to visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Simply put, a wheel bearing is a part of the wheel hub that enables the wheel to freely turn almost without any resistance. Although a simple invention, a bearing is a technological marvel and without it most of our modern machines would simply not be possible. The wheel bearing is located within the wheel hub and on the drive shaft. The wheel bearing is a very resilient part and most of them are meant to last as long as the car. One of the most common reasons for problems are things like potholes or bad quality roads that cause sudden blows and hits which either damage the internal parts of the bearing or damage the seal. When the seal is damaged the lubricant gets out and filth gets inside the bearing which over time causes damage to the internal parts like the rollers and else. Also, a cause of problems can be a wheel bearing of low quality. The first symptom of a bad wheel bearing that you'll certainly notice is the sound. At first it will be a barely noticeable humming and can be easily mixed up with an under inflated tire for instance. But as the problem progresses, the humming gets ever more worse and at the final phase the sound is almost louder than the engine. It goes from humming to a sort of growling which intensifies as you drive faster and there is more load on the bearing. Here is an example at the beginning of the problem and at the later phase. At the later phase of the problem, you may hear a clicking sound coming from the wheel when driving. It's not that loud and you can hear it if you open the window while driving. It sounds like a small metal ball hitting the wheel. The ABS warning lights may come up since the speed sensor is, in most cases, located within the same wheel assembly. When the wheel bearing is on its last legs, the wheel may wobble and, among else, cause an ABS malfunction. This symptom appears when the bearing is really damaged and if you notice this you should replace it as soon as possible. Since the bearing essentially holds the entire wheel to the drive shaft, when it's damaged it gets some play. You can easily see this if you raise the car and try to sort of twist the wheel from one side to the other, then the play will show. At first, you can barely sense that the steering wheel vibrates, while in the later stages of the problem it may get much more noticeable. It usually goes from a mild vibration to something that resembles, in the lack of a better explanation, holding a sander. Alongside the wheel wobble, you may feel your car pulling to one side since the wheel basically isn't balanced. 
It's much like when the tires aren't well balanced or one of the tires aren't properly inflated. Once again, the first symptom you'll notice is the humming noise. It lasts a pretty long time until the other symptoms appear. By pretty long, I mean at least a couple of hundred or even a couple of thousand miles. During this time, it's best to notice the problem and solve it as soon as possible. When it gets to the wheel wobbling, a vibrating steering wheel or the wheel has extra play, then it may be in a serious stage where the stability of the vehicle is compromised and that's dangerous. Best not let it get that far. That's it for this time, hope the video helps, please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.